This is the lecture for Amartya Sen's article, Elements of a Theory of Human Rights. So the first topic is that now, again, we have another topic in philosophy, uh, and this is social and political philosophy. So social and political philosophy is uh, kind of what it sounds like. It's philosophy relating to uh, sort of groups of people, societies, and politics, and all the things involving politics. So it studies all sorts of questions, like what sort of government are justified? Do we have a duty to follow the, follow the law? If so, why? Uh, which laws do we have a duty to follow? What should the laws be like? Uh, how should democracies be run? Should democracies even exist? Who should be citizens of countries? How should immigration be handled? How should we handle questions of international relations? Should there be rules for war? What are the rules for war? Uh, and thousands of other things. So uh, everything involving sort of how people relate to each other on a large scale, maybe, is uh, covered under social and political philosophy. The topic of this article today is human rights, so uh, that's one big topic in social and political philosophy, but there are many other kinds of topics. This is the kind of philosophy that I mostly do, so if you're interested, I can talk about it for a long, long time. Uh, and yeah, so now we've seen another kind of philosophy, I think. Well, maybe we've covered like most of the big areas of philosophy now. Uh, philosophy is a very large and kind of disunified field. As you've noticed, we've sort of jumped around from topic to topic and covered all sorts of things that seem to have nothing to do with each other. And that's an interesting thing about philosophy. It's a very variegated field. There's just a lot of stuff going on in it. But I think we've covered all of the sort of most popular uh, areas, except uh, except for two. Uh, we haven't done any phenomenology, so we can talk about that at some point if you're interested. Existentialism has a lot to do with that, so if we end up reading existentialism, we'll get into this. And we haven't done any history of philosophy, so history of philosophy is sort of focused on historical philosophical works and understanding those, and we haven't read any old stuff. Uh, so if we read any old stuff, we'll be introduced to history of philosophy. But I think now um, you've gotten a broad overview of many of the main topics, not all the topics. Like I said, there's many, many more. Uh, there's philosophy of sport. There's philosophy of love. There's, there, there's, there's just a lot of philosophy. Uh, but yeah, moving on. So there's a section I just want to sort of bring to your attention because I couldn't think of a good reading quiz question about it so and it's at the very end of the article so you might sort of be tempted to trail off and just skip section nine reading it very closely but no no don't skip it i just i couldn't come up with a good reading quiz question but this is uh just as important as any of the other sections it's i think um perhaps slightly hard to understand it goes by a little fast um and it's not clear exactly how it links directly to the rest of the article but uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff in here, and so I just want to say in the lecture, uh, read this, pay attention to it, talk about it on perusal, and then bring up questions and comments you have about it in class.